everybody. My name is Michael DeJoya. I'm the director of institutional sales here at Gas Trader, and I'm also a longtime trader. I've been trading for over 22 years. Uh, what I'm showing you here is my trading platform. Um, this is the Dash Trader Pro platform. I configured it last time um, that I did one of these sessions. And I'm just going to go over all the different windows. I have my market montage right here. I have my time and sales next to it linked to my five minute chart, my 15 minute chart up here. And then of course I have my daily chart, which is slightly over the edge of the screen because I'm running out of my screen space. I want to maximize my screen space, of course, because I want to use as much of my screen as possible. Now, this is actually what just popped up is my trade signal screen. My trade signal screen is one of the most phenomenal uh, features of the Dash Trader Pro platform. I can set up alerts for me to know what's going on in the market. Now, the one that I set up here are my price risers by percentage. And it tells me the time um, that this one triggered. I could just click on it and it just brings up the screen. So basically I could just go through these as they pop up and I can just see how they're doing. Um, and now this is just one of the trade signal windows. Let me just go here. Okay, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over to tools, right down here to trade signal. And here are all of my scans. Now currently I have them all on. I'm just gonna open this one up as well. I'm gonna enable this. I'm gonna enable all my trade signals. So you see how I have a couple of different features. I'm gonna go through each of the one uh, of the individual windows that I've set up here. So I had a, a set up a gap up list. So this is for stocks that are gapping up on open. This is a pre-market scanner. And what it does is it creates a top 10 list. So now this is what it looks like to go in and to actually configure it. You have the ability to configure by price, by volume, by average daily volume of 30 or 60 days, what symbols you wanna scan for. If you wanna make it a little bit narrower, I have everything being scanned, everything that fits this price and volume criteria. It talks about the amount of float, the size of the float of the particular stock, the market capitalization, earnings per share. So you can scan by all of these different criteria. And what it does is if you put in more filters, it'll narrow down your list. If you add and make them more global, you'll get more alerts and obviously more ideas. Now, my belief in using uh, the trade signal, uh, uh, trade signal part of the software is to get as many ideas as possible. I'll, I'll have them pop up on my screen, I'll look through them quickly, and I'll decide whether I wanna trade them or not. And, um, and that's pretty much the way I do it. I keep the filters pretty wide so that I get lots of alerts. So this is my gap down list. Again, it's just the same thing as my gap up list, just configured um, you know, to find gap downs. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to create a brand new list. So this is a new list. Okay, and I'm gonna decide what do I want? Volume, five minutes, pre-market volume, post-market volume, percentage risers, uh, percentage fallers, price gap up on open, price gap down on open, biggest gainers, biggest losers, price crossed above the VWAP price. So VWAP, a lot of people are trading today, they love using volume weighted average price. So personally, I'm gonna create a scan right now for price crossing above VWAP price. So boom, I just created the scan. I'm gonna say VWAP, okay. Price above VWAP, okay. So I created that, what exchange, I'm looking at the NASDAQ, okay. Price value between $5 and $100 is fine. These are all my default settings. I'm gonna hit okay. And I just created a price rising above VWAP. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the downside. I'm gonna create a new one. Price crossed below VWAP. And look, I just got an alert. We're gonna look at that in one second. Price below VWAP. Okay, I'm gonna go okay. I think I've reached my number of, of scans, so I'm gonna delete this one. 
Okay, and I'm going to add that price above VWAP, price below VWAP. Let's do that one. Price below VWAP. Remember, VWAP is volume weighted average price. All right, so now I got my price below VWAP, my price above VWAP. And look, I'm getting alerts immediately. So I'm automatically, so now I made a nice loose scan and I'm getting immediate alerts um, on stocks that are meeting this criteria. Now let's take a look at the charts on those stocks. Okay, and remember I've already configured my layout to be nice and easy for me to find opportunities. So this one just crossed below VWAP on the, on the 15 minute. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to take this. Just as it looks like it's kind of already at its target. This one does look like it's got more clear air, right? Because it's just crossing below its VWAP, but it could still fall a good $2 or $1.50 rather if it, if it breaks down and continues to go down below 575. Now, I don't know if it's gonna do that, but certainly looks like it's, it's in a downtrend. Okay, and that was that one. So let's just do this one. Another good chart, another great, you know, kind of consolidation break. The only thing is, is that the daily is right at its rising 10 period moving average. So I may skip that one as well. All right, so this one also, I mean, so either way, we got some ideas. I don't know if I would want to jump in and trade any of those right away, but let's look at the ideas that we've gotten. We're getting a lot more sell side ideas than buy side ideas. Okay, and look at the one that I just clicked on. It's continuing to go down. It's got some room down to its cross, it's moving averages on its daily. It's got some room on its, on its intraday here. Um, so let's see, do we have any long side ideas? Let's take a look at some of the long ideas. No, nope, nothing looks good on the long side here. Um, they look like all topping wicks. Like today might be some kind of a blowout top day. I think you guys get the gist. The idea here is for us to find trading opportunities and for the system to pop up and generate these trading opportunities. Now, if you think this is too much, everything popping up in your face, you can disable the ability to pop this up, right? You see how it says enables? That's turning on or off the actual scan, the trade signal. The pop-up is whether you want to turn just the pop-up up. So it'll still generate, but in the window that you place it on your screen. And I think that's a really nice feature as well, because you can kind of have these popping up in your face if you're looking for ideas, or you could kind of make them more subtle and turn them down if you're not looking for those ideas. Well, everybody, I hope you've uh, found out a few interesting facts about the trade signal generator here in the Dash Trader Pro platform. As always, I invite you to have comments, certainly like the video if you enjoyed this and found this helpful. If you'd like to get updated and future um, you know, messages when we, when we post new videos, just make sure you click on the bell, the little alert bell. And again, if you have any questions or comments, feel, certainly don't feel, always feel free to ask and we can make a, an upcoming video um, for you on that topic. So today what we covered was the, um, the trade signal uh, window, generating more trading ideas from your Dash Trader Pro platform. And again, you could always request our uh, layout here um, without all these extra little pop-up windows, they pop up on their own, but you'll get the nice clean layout that I made last time uh, if you request it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in future sessions. All the best everybody, trade well. Mm -hmm.